and welcome to the Bazura Project Presents, happily dictating what you watch since, well, since last week. Once again, we're going to be personally selecting a film from the Channel 31 Volts to Play. And this week's film is... No, that's shit. No. Oh, where is it? There's one really good one. Number 46, number 46, which is number 46. <laughs> Why, it's our very favourite film. From 1955, Confidential Report, written, produced, directed by and starring Orson Welles. Robert Arden plays small-time American smuggler Guy Van Stratton, who is hired by the elusive billionaire Gregory Arcaden, Orson Welles, to investigate the tycoon's own past, as he claims to have no memory of it. Van Stratton gradually puts the pieces of Arcaden's life together, but the more he digs, the more people turn up dead, as he discovers that Arcaden is motivated not by amnesia, but by a need to keep a secret from his daughter. Now that's the easy part, the plot's easy. Now settle in, because it's all about to get really complicated, and of course, I'm not gonna make it any easier. All right, the film was originally called Mr. Arcaden, and it was produced in a typically chaotic Wellsian fashion full of lawsuits and ownership issues that resulted in at least five different versions of the film being made, one being Confidential Report. It's originally based on the 1950s radio series The Lives of Harry Lyme, as played by Orson Welles. Now that radio series is, in turn, based on the character Welles also played in the film The Third Man in 1949. Although there's no Harry Lyme character actually in Mr Arcaden, and there's also a novelization of the film, also called Mr. Arcaden, that is credited to Wells, and it was actually ghostwritten by somebody else. Still with me? Okay, Wells shot the film in early 1954 and needed to deliver the final cut by Christmas that year to appease the film's investors. The deadline passed, and producer Louis Dolivet took the film out of Wells' hands and gave new, more linear instructions to a different editor. That version, unfortunately, spawned Confidential Report, as that's the one that's out of copyright and therefore the only version we can afford to screen. Later, in 1961, director and Wells confidant Peter Bogdanovich was planning a Wells retrospective for the Museum of Modern Art in New York, when he unearthed a different version of the film that seemed to correspond more closely to the elaborate, flashback-heavy, cane-like story structure Wells had originally intended, and that was released theatrically a year later. If you're still awake, then I'm about to send you right over the edge, as those doyens of DVD, Criterion, have recently released a three DVD box set of Mr. Arcaden, containing three separate versions of the film, which is really worth checking out. There's Confidential Report, The Bogdanovich Find, and a newly edited comprehensive version, which keeps the flashback structure, but combines material from all known versions of the film to make it easier to follow. Unlike this introduction. Wells has described the film as both the most butchered of his career, which are strong words considering his pedigree of the Magnificent Ambersons and Touch of Evil, as well as the biggest disaster of his life, which is even stronger words coming from Unicron himself. But the editors of Caer du Cinema don't agree, naming Mr. Arcaden the best of all Wells' films. And it, visually, it's easy to see why. It's incredibly shot. Wells is going nuts with his train set. It's set piece after set piece. So get ready to discover that the past can be murder with... What's it called again? Confidential Report. Do you even care anymore? <laughs> 